Welcome to Speak Peak English. Have you ever thought in English about how this entire universe is a blend of colors and shapes? Can you envision in English all the shapes that surround you and the colors that make your life colorful? Emma, a seven-year-old, is pondering her universe full of shapes and colors. Let's join Emma's universe to learn English together. Hello, it's Emma exploring shapes and colors. Every day, my world is filled with fascinating shapes and vibrant colors. Right at the start, I notice the round sun rising in the sky, spreading warmth and light. It's like a big yellow ball playing hide and seek with the clouds. As I walk to the park, I see rectangles, the playground slides. They're long and flat, perfect for sliding down with joy. The swings form beautiful arcs in the air as they sway back and forth, creating a rhythmic dance in the breeze. In the park, there's a square picnic table where families gather. It's a cozy spot for sharing snacks and laughter. The green grass beneath our feet feels cool and refreshing, making the whole experience even more enjoyable. Oh, and let's not forget the colorful flowers. Circles of red, blue, and yellow petals bloom in the garden, attracting butterflies with their vibrant hues. It's like a living rainbow, bringing joy to everyone who passes by. Now, as I head to my room, I see my favorite posters on the wall. Triangles, circles, and squares come together to create a playful and lively atmosphere. The blue curtains by the window add a calming touch, making my room a haven of comfort. During art class, we get to paint using all the colors of the rainbow. I mix blue and yellow to create green, and it feels like magic happening on my canvas. The teacher praises my artwork, and I can't help but smile with pride. Even at lunch, my mom packs fruits of different shapes and colors in my lunchbox. There's a juicy red apple, a yellow banana, and a round orange. It's not just a meal, it's a mini feast of colors and shapes. As I play with my friends, we draw hopscotch squares on the ground and fill them with colorful chalk. Jumping from one square to another becomes a fun adventure, and we laugh together, creating memories etched in colorful moments. So, that's my day filled with shapes and colors. We just explored Emma's shape quest, and now let's discover some cool words together. It's like building our word collection. Ready to find and learn? Before we continue, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's go! First, here's a list of 2D shapes. We're going to learn about these shapes in English today. 1. Circle, a perfectly round shape with no corners or edges. 2. Square, a shape with four equal sides and four right angles. 3. Triangle, a shape with three sides and three angles. 4. Rectangle, a shape with four sides where opposite sides are equal in length and four right angles. 5. Pentagon, a shape with five sides and five angles. 6. Hexagon, a shape with six sides and six angles. 7. Octagon, a shape with eight sides and eight angles. 8. Rhombus, a shape with four equal sides, but the angles are not necessarily right angles. 9. Oval, a rounded, elongated shape, similar to a stretched circle. 10. Parallelogram, a four-sided figure with opposite sides parallel and equal in length. Let's do some speaking practice. Can you pronounce these 2D shapes? It's time to repeat after me. It's speaking time. Circle. Circle. 
square, square, triangle, triangle, rectangle, rectangle, pentagon, pentagon, hexagon, hexagon, octagon, octagon, rhombus, rhombus, oval, oval, parallelogram, parallelogram. Now, here's a list of 3D shapes. Wow! Lots of shapes make up our whole world. It's time to learn about these shapes in English. 1. Sphere, a round ball-like shape. 2. Cylinder, a shape with curved sides and two circular bases, like a soda can. 3. Cube, a solid with six equal square faces, like a dice. 4. Cone, a shape with a circular base that narrows to a point on top resembling an ice cream cone. 5. Pyramid, a structure with a polygonal base and triangular sides that meet at a single point on top. 6. Rectangular prism, a solid with six faces, each a rectangle, like a box. 7. Triangular prism, a solid with two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. Eight. Hemisphere, half of a sphere, resembling half a ball. 9. Cuboid, a three-dimensional shape with six rectangular faces, like a rectangular box. 10. Cylindrical prism, a shape with curved sides, two circular bases, and rectangular sides, similar to a can of soup. Let's do some more speaking practice. Can you pronounce these 3D shapes? Once again, it's time to repeat after me. It's speaking time. Sphere. Sphere. Cylinder. Cylinder. Cube. Cube. Cone. Cone. Pyramid. Pyramid. Rectangular prism, rectangular prism, triangular prism, triangular prism, hemisphere, hemisphere, cuboid, cuboid, cylindrical prism, cylindrical prism. Now it's time to explore some new words from the Emma shapes and color adventure. Arc, a curved shape, like the movement of swings in the park. They create a beautiful arc as they swing back and forth, adding a graceful dance to the play area. Canvas, a surface where art is created. Emma's day is like a canvas filled with shapes and colors. Each moment is a stroke of imagination on her daily canvas. Haven, a place of comfort and safety. Emma describes her room as a haven with blue curtains by the window, adding a calming touch to her personal space. Feast, a plentiful meal that is enjoyed. Emma's lunchbox is not just a meal. It's a mini feast of colors and shapes. Each fruit, like the juicy red apple, contributes to the delightful feast. Hopscotch, a game where players hop through a series of squares drawn on the ground. Emma and her friends draw hopscotch squares with colorful chalk, turning jumping into a fun adventure filled with laughter. We explored Emma's shape quest and learned some cool words. Now, let's dive into the present tense with ease and joy. Ready to play with the magic of present tense using shapes and colors. Present tense is a linguistic tool used to convey actions happening at the current moment or regularly occurring activities. 
In the context of describing a day filled with shapes and colors, it captures the unfolding of events in the now. This tense employs verbs like see, notice, or describe to emphasize immediacy and ongoing actions, providing a vivid snapshot of the present. Examples from Emma's Shape Quest. I see the round sun rising in the sky, spreading warmth and light. Emma uses C to describe the immediate observation of the sun, highlighting the ongoing action of its ascent. I walk to the park, and I notice rectangles. The playground slides. The use of walk and notice emphasizes the present moment as Emma explores the shapes in the park, creating a sense of unfolding events. The swings form beautiful arcs in the air as they sway back and forth, creating a rhythmic dance in the breeze. The verbs form and sway showcase the ongoing actions of the swings, contributing to the dynamic atmosphere in the park. Share a sentence about your favorite shape or color using the present tense in the comments. For example, I love the color blue because it reminds me of the sky. Let the colorful language adventure begin. And the final part is listening and speaking practice. This time, repeat after me for the full story. C clear your throat. Are you ready? Hello, it's Emma exploring shapes and colors. Every day, my world is filled with fascinating shapes and vibrant colors. Right at the start, I notice the round sun rising in the sky, spreading warmth and light. It's like a big yellow ball playing hide and seek with the clouds. As I walk to the park, I see rectangles, the playground slides. They're long and flat, perfect for sliding down with joy. The swings form beautiful arcs in the air as they sway back and forth, creating a rhythmic dance in the breeze. In the park, there's a square picnic table where families gather. It's a cozy spot for sharing snacks and laughter. The green grass beneath our feet feels cool and refreshing, making the whole experience even more enjoyable. Oh, and let's not forget the colorful flowers. Circles of red, blue, and yellow petals bloom in the garden. Attracting butterflies with their vibrant hues. It's like a living rainbow bringing joy to everyone who passes by. Now, as I head to my room, I see my favorite posters on the wall. Triangles, circles, and squares come together to create a playful and lively atmosphere. The blue curtains by the window add a calming touch, making my room a haven of comfort.
during art class, we get to paint using all the colors of the rainbow. I mix blue and yellow to create green, and it feels like magic happening on my canvas. The teacher praises my artwork, and I can't help but smile with pride. Even at lunch, my mom packs fruits of different shapes and colors in my lunchbox. There's a juicy red apple, a yellow banana, and a round orange. It's not just a meal. It's a mini feast of colors and shapes. As I play with my friends, we draw hopscotch squares on the ground and fill them with colorful chalk. Jumping from one square to another becomes a fun adventure. And we laugh together, creating memories etched in colorful moments. So, that's my day filled with shapes and colors. And that concludes our vibrant expedition into the world of colors and shapes with Emma. I trust you've learned exciting ways to talk about the colorful and shapely wonders around you in English. Keep practicing, and I look forward to being part of your next language exploration. Until then, happy learning and enjoy the colorful journey ahead.